everyone, welcome, it's Eileen. Today I'm gonna to show you how I make these simple meat pies or empanadas de carne. This is gonna be, of course, the easy version. These are super easy to make. I buy the empanada discs to make this process a lot faster. You could use meat or even shredded chicken to make these special delicious pies. And all you do is cook your meat or your chicken and add whatever seasonings you prefer. Here I'm just showing you what items I used for this recipe, which is ground beef, some empanada disc, like onion powder and garlic powder. And I also added olives to this. If you don't like olives, you're welcome to just omit it from your recipe. Ensure that whatever meat or filling you're gonna use for this recipe is completely cooked before you start to assemble. Once your filling is completely cooked, what I like to do is place my disc on a flat surface and I do like to add my filling into a bowl. That way I can press against the bowl to remove any excess oil or any excess liquid that the actual filling may have. Then you're gonna actually like tuck it in on the sides a little bit and then flip it over. Once you've flipped it over and both ends are even, you're gonna press down all the way around and then with a fork, just kind of make the um, indentions all along the edges and flip it over and do the same to the other side just to ensure that it doesn't open up while you're deep frying this. I deep fried mine, but you can go ahead and bake yours if you prefer. I'll leave the instructions in the description below just so that you know how to do it either way you choose. Look at this, how pretty and oh so delicious. I can't wait to fry them up. You're gonna heat your oil on medium high heat and then just tuck in a piece of your empanada or your meat pie just to ensure that you're not gonna lay it into cold um, oil because then it's gonna get all mushy and soggy. You'd hear that sizzle, that's the sizzle you wanna hear. You're gonna cook them for about three minutes on each side. I often flip it over a little bit just so that I can see it and make sure that it's not cooking too fast. Um, and then you're gonna flip them and do the same thing to the other side. And that's the perfect golden color that you want these to be. Um, like I said before, you just have to constantly be watching these like you can't walk away and do something else You have to be watching these um, Because your stove may even you know cook them a little faster than mine did And then I'm sorry I know I didn't show you but I do roll up like a lot of paper towels and place them on a plate that way, as soon as you remove these from the heat, you can go ahead and place it on there so that it can collect the excess grease. And then another thing that I do is when I place these empanadas 
um, I go ahead and just place them in the same direction while they're frying that way it makes it that much easier when I go to flip them if you're watching my videos for the first time welcome this is Eileen's easy recipes and trust me all I make are easy recipes nothing's ever going to be too complicated if you like videos like this please consider subscribing to my channel and welcome I made a lot of meat pies that day I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the very last one that I made if you're enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up um, comment subscribe everything and above because YouTube's algorithm works that way if you even just like my video it pushes out my video a little bit you know more than usual so that's truly appreciated These were so absolutely delicious. The meat was so flavorful and the actual um, pie itself, the dough, was so nice and flaky. It was absolutely delicious. I highly suggest that you try this recipe out and let me know how you liked yours and if you baked yours instead of deep frying it like I did. Don't these look delicious? Thank you so much for watching my videos. I truly appreciate it. Please come back. You know I post on Mondays and Thursdays. Bye.